Hello everyone, let's discuss about another kind of injection attack that is formula injections. So formula injections are also called as CSV Excel macro injection. So before going further, let me give you one scenario that there is one web application on which we can edit, create and export Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. So as a penetration tester or a hacker, what we can do is we can try to inject something malicious inside that spreadsheets. So once we inserted something malicious, then we will export that web sheet. So if that web application is vulnerable to formula injection, then that web application will not sanitize the user input and export that web sheet which contains the malicious code injected by an attacker. So if any other user will open that Microsoft Excel spreadsheet will get affected and which results in client side injection. So here you can see, so these kinds of vulnerabilities are often found on web applications which having export spreadsheet functionality and if spreadsheet is being generated without sanitizing the user input that results in code execution at the client side. Now let's see how formula injection works. Now let's see how we can do CSV injection or formula injection. So before going further let's understand that how Microsoft Excel executes our formula. So let me start here Microsoft Excel. And here you will see a formula bar. So if I just write here equals to sum. So I'm writing here a very simple formula which will do the sum of two numbers. And if I hit enter here you will see that our formula has been executed and the sum is 20. Now what happen is while pen testing any web application sometimes the web application has a feature of exporting data in the form of CSV files. Now as a penetration tester what you can do is you can inject something malicious in the CSV file and that malicious code will execute it as formula in the Microsoft Excel and some commands will be executed on client side. Now let's go here dynamic data exchange protocol is responsible for inter-process communication and for sharing data between the two applications in Microsoft Windows. So the format of this protocol is like this equals to here will be the server file and item and here the server is the program which will handle the user request and the file is which we just execute and here you can see the most commonly used payload used to test the CSV injection. So here you can see the equals to sign is for starting up the formula and here is a CMD so it's a server which will handle the user request and it's the here is the file CALC which will get executed and we all know that CALC.exe is actually a calculator.exe file in Microsoft Windows. Now in order to test this payload what we have to do is we'll use extreme vulnerable web application which contains this vulnerable CSV web page. So let me go here so here you can see that my extreme vulnerable web application is up and running and I have hosted this web application on Kali Linux and if I scroll down on the left hand side you will find one challenge of formula injection. So let's open this up, let's scroll down and here you will see some list of items including the item code, item name, category and price and here is one option to export this file, export this data to CSV file let me just click over here and here you will see that it's saying you want to save this file or you want to open this file. So let's save this file and let me run this and here you will see the list of the items, coffee items comes here. Now in order to test that whether this web application is vulnerable to CSV injection or not we have to find a way so that we can add our on input here which comes under this category. So there is one challenge here called as unrestricted file upload. So if I go here, here you will find that add a new item to coffee list which means by adding here, by adding some data here we will able to inject our malicious code and that will comes under this page formula injection. So now let's fill these fields. Let's go here to the upload image 
and select any random image. So item name will be demo image. So description should be anything. So this is CSV injection test. So now here in place of category, let's copy this payload and paste it. And the price should be anything. So let's click on submit and here you will see that our item uploads successfully. Now let's go back to formula injection page and if I scroll down here you will see that our item has been added into its list and here is our payload. Now let's export this file, save this and run it. So here you will see that it's saying Microsoft Office has that it's a kind of a malware it's a security concern enable and here you can see that Microsoft Excel is saying whether we want to open a cmd.txt or not and if I just click on yes here you will see that a calculator application is up and running automatically. So which means we are successfully able to inject CSV code and now we can execute any commands on client side. Now in order to extend this attack what an attacker can do so they can execute a matterpatter scripts using invoke shell codes using reverse handlers and so on. Now let's talk, talk it about little bit more advanced. So what happen is most of the web application nowadays are secure and they just filter out this equals to sign in the user input. Now what we can do is in order to execute our CSV injection again we can also use a different characters that will also signify the beginning of a new formula. So we can use at the rate plus minus and some few more characters. So here you will find a advanced payload. So it's an advanced payload which we can use in order to test CSV injection. So if we just look at this payload you will see here that the at, at the rate sum 1 plus 1. So it's the beginning of a new function and here after the multiplication we have written our same payload. So let's try to copy this payload and let's try to execute this payload directly in, inside the Microsoft Excel and let's see whether it works or not. Let's go here, let's paste here, hit enter and here you will see so it's saying that whether we want to execute this file, if you just click on yes, here you will see that calculator comes in. So this is how we can inject CSV code and we can do formula injection. So in this video we have covered that what is CSV injection, what is CSV macro injection and how we can do it. Now thanks for watching this video.